Good afternoon, Kalispell. Hey, I hope everybody is doing all right. Look who I tracked down, Dr. Hello. Gillen. So what we're going to talk today is about what we are. We are chiropractors and we understand there's a lot of confusion, a lot of stigmatism about what we are and who or what we actually do. Hello, Jennifer. Is she going to throw me a wave? Throw me a wave. Come on. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs> it's Sophia on there. <laughs> right so what we do uh thank you elizabeth so what we do is we correct what are called vertebral subluxations and we understand that not a lot of people know what that is or what even it means so what we're gonna do is break it down a little bit for you guys so these things um in a basic sense they are misalignments of the spine that cause faulty information to go up to the brain, which in turn changes the function of the brain and output of the nervous system. So what we do, we use very high-tech equipment to detect these subluxations, and then we go in and correct these by hand, which allows the body to do what it does best, which is heal and function optimally. Do you have any input to it? Um, other than the misalignments of your spine that actually can cause a stress response to your brain and cause uh, cortisol release, just like if you were to encounter a bear in the middle of the woods, your body can't distinguish between that bear and a misalignment or any other stressors in your life and respond the exact same way. So if you have a misalignment in your spine, that response continuously gets... Um, activated and you're basically living a high stressful life with a misalignment and we take care of those so and i'm actually going to expand a little bit more you you threw that in there Riker's so that on the floor so yep. i keep looking at it check him out he's doing Riker stuff say hi Riker. can you floss Riker? yeah he gonna he gonna flop on us <laughs> so uh Prolonged stress response. I believe it, Jennifer. <laughs> uh, prolonged stress re stress response. Check out Cody's response. <laughs> um, a prolonged stress response, so it leads to the release of cortisol. Cortisol is one of the major stress response hormones, which in turn cause insulin resistance. So if you're insulin resistance, things like um, gaining weight, that's a huge one that we see. It, it just happens. It's part of the cascade. You don't digest the food as well as you should and feel chronically tired and fatigued. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to shoot them over to us in a message, and we'll get do our best to get back to you. Have a great day, Kalispell. Hi.